Well, hello and special prayers to all those who are returning to work this Monday. Our gospel today comes from St. Matthew's Gospel. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went to live in Capernaum by the sea, in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali, that would have been said through Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who sit in darkness have seen a great light. On those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. From that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He went around all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness among the people. His fame spread to all of Syria, and they brought to him all who were sick with various diseases and racked with pain. Those who were possessed, lunatics and paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan, followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, my friends, in today's Gospel, we hear the very beginning of Jesus' ministry. We hear that John has been arrested, and now it is time for Jesus to begin to preach the kingdom of heaven. It's interesting that in Matthew's Gospel, the first word that he places on Jesus' lips as he begins his public ministry is the word repent. And my friends, that is something that is so crucial for each one of us to be men and women who desire to repent of our sinfulness. For those who are familiar with 12-step programs, the first step is to admit that the person is powerless, whether that be powerless over drink, whether that be powerless over drugs, whether that be powerless over pornography or food or whatever it may be, the first step is to admit that one is powerless to face that on their own. And my friends, that is the key for each one of us to admit first and foremost that we are sinners in need of saving, that we can't eradicate sin from our lives on our own, that we need a Savior. And so today in the gospel, Jesus calls us to that repentance, to acknowledge that we are in need of saving. But my friends, the good news is this, that even in our sin, God loves us. And he loves us so much that he desires to forgive us of our sin, to eradicate the effect of sin, which is death, and invite us to the life that he has planned for each one of us. So my friends, today may we be men and women who repent. May we ask God for forgiveness and find our way to confession so that we might receive that healing grace. God bless.